Do you want to do uh, Werewolf Night? Yes, it's a Werewolf Night. Werewolf double feature. So, what was your? Have you always been a werewolf fan? Was why did you make a werewolf movie? Mm, not really. I hate them actually. <laughs> I'm more into musicals. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a big, big horror fan since I'm, I'm a big movies fan and, and well, I like all kind of movies, but you know, my heart has a little room for the horror movies. And uh, I, I, I especially love uh, the, the, the classics, the movies from the 40s, the movies coming from the Universal Studios or RKO Studios. I love those movies, I think they're brilliant. And, and also, I well, I'm, I'm, I'm from the late 60s. I mean, I grew up uh, watching the movies from the 80s. You know, the John Landis movies, John Carpenter movies, Joe Dante, American War of in London, Howling, Gremlins, all that stuff. So I, I think you, you can see a big influence, you know, in the movie of, 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 of those movies, those people. Uh, but to me, that, that, that's the best uh, age of FX makeup uh, artists in the history of the film industry, people like Rick Baker, and you know that, that that's that's something that now the CGI has killed all that, you know. So uh, well, that's a big influence as you can see. And also in, in your song as well, right? Oh uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, obviously the original question was yeah, love werewolves. Just think, um, vampires and zombies are being done to death, so it's well time and um, yeah just the same thing about the CGI I think everyone I know you guys probably agree that the films that have come out with heavily CGI wells just aren't as scary as trying to go the old school effects so yeah if I can ever continue my short into a feature I'm definitely doing the old school makeup effects for sure and, and, and also and also uh, I think I totally agree with him when I watch when, when, when I watch movies like I'm, I don't want a name, but like Underworld, for example. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, movies with which I, I think CGI is great if you use it well. I think uh, there's uh, if you use it bad, CGI in some kind of way is raping the narrative of film industry. And and in these movies, uh, suddenly when there's a transformation scene or an action scene. Uh, it looks like the Warner Brothers cartoons. It looks like the Road Runner and the Coyote. And I still watch American Werewolf in London transformation, and I still sit on my pants. I mean, I think it's, it's amazing. So, so I think me and, and I think it's got as well. We tried to, to reproduce that, right? That was the idea. Yeah. Was it always your intention to make a comedy as as well? Or did that? Yeah, I can't help it. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm sorry. I mean, I, I love comedy. I think there's nothing better in the world than laughing, right? I mean, well, maybe sex. But, you know, but sex is more expensive and laughing can be very cheap. So, especially when you have to pay like me. But that's a joke. But, yes, I mean, I, I, I like comedy very much. And I think, I think maybe it was a... a, a bet try to combine both things you know but but that was actually the, the the challenge of the movie you know not to make another just horror movie try to make a comedy and horror try to make both things work i don't know if i did uh, but that was the idea. <laughs> mom shut up <laughs> and also there's something uh, sorry I, there's something i want to say also i am a little pissed off as a as a general fun. I'm a little pissed off with what's happened lately, and maybe this is going to make me a little unpopular, but, you know, zombies movies, vampire movies, werewolf movies, that, that, that must be an experience for the audience, you know, you can, you have to go and watch them with your buddies or your girlfriend and buy the biggest popcorn bag in the world and, and laugh and shout and scream, and, and now you, you can watch Walking Dead, True Blood on television, having dinner with your parents, and you know vampires and television and zombies on television with commercials in the middle. I hate that. I'm sorry, I hate it. So how about some questions from uh, the audience, and, and then we, we'll uh, we'll ask you some questions to give away some prizes. But yes, could you guys uh, talk about the production design for your individual werewolf uh, looks? 
so the question is about the production design for the actual werewolves uh, okay just for the short um, obviously from this get go we decided it was going to be um, old school creature effects um, basically 95% of what you saw in the short film was um, makeup uh, just very minimal digital uh, manipulation obviously the plus side of that it looks more real downside you have to sort of hide your cut points um, a bit more than doing long continuous shots but yeah from the get go it was definitely had to be uh, old school effects just to me that's what I grew up on it's what I think looks scarier and yeah I think that's the same for you know, as well and also I had the lack in the movie the, 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 the uh, FX makeup artist so to speak is a guy who won two Oscars actually and he's a Spanish well take a look at that he is called Arturo Ribeiro he, he lives in Spain he was part of the team of uh, Pan's Labyrinth remember that movie yeah. that movie won an Oscar and he was part of the team of uh, The Last Werewolf, the Benicio del Toro Werewolf, who won an Oscar. He's a Spanish, I'm very proud of that. And, and he made, he made uh, he was in charge of all the, all, of all our makeup effects and everything. And, and, you know, when you have something like, some, somebody like him, who is so creative, so good at his job, and, and, and that, who is able to work with the little budget we have and do this, well, you're, you're very lucky, and I was. Any other, any other questions out there? Yes? I just wanted to say I really love how they flew through the air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She loved how they, the, they flew, flew through the air. She loved how the, how the words. <laughs> Lots of drugs during the film. <laughs> All of them were stoned. Yeah. No, that, that was, that's, that's again, as we were talking about, that was not CGI, that was real. I mean, the only CGI, for example, we have is, is to erase the cables of those flights, for example. But those flights were made with cranes and, you know, and steel cables, and we had to erase that. But, but all of them was, was filmed by real, you know what I mean? In the very front. The question was about the beginning scenes, the beginning animation. How did you decide to, to start with the animation? Yeah, you're going to love that. that. We, we were supposed to film that scene for real, <laughs> with real actors. And because it was, you know, something apart from the movie, from the story, we decided, okay, we film the movie and then, you know, after a couple of months we will film this, you know, in set in the studio, blah, blah, blah. Well, we ran out of money. <laughs> we spent all the money in the bloody werewolves. Because I don't know why the hair had to come from China. I don't, don't ask me why, but, but the hair, we brought the hair for the, world, uh, for the world from China. I don't know why. So we ran out of money, and then my producer said, there's no money, forget about that scene, blah, 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 blah. And I said, no, that scene's very important. You know, you said the whole story. You said why things are happening. So at the same time, there was a comic, uh, comic editorial company. Uh, well, th th there was some, some company making the comic of the movie, okay, because they, they thought it was, good, it was a good idea to do the comic as well. I don't know why. Uh, so I was working at the same time with the, with the comic artists, and I was loving what they were doing. I thought they were doing some great job, so I said, why? And suddenly I came to my mind, why don't we do the first scene using this, this guy's job? And, and that's what we did. We, we took the, the job and we did some, a little bit of post-production, a little bit of 3D, cheap 3D, with the blood and everything. Uh, but basically that was the reason, because we didn't have money. Sometimes, you know, the, sometimes the best things come for, from, from stupidity like this. You know? uh, yes? Uh, I noticed in the short, in the end credits, uh, the music was credited to uh, someone with the last name of Spearig. Yes, uh, is that, that is, is, is that Spearig, Spearig of, of one of those.